Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. If you are brand new to the channel, I'm Randy with Beyond Limits Mobile Detailing. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along our detailing appointments scheduled for today. Make sure you guys stick to the end to see how much we make in total. Hey Randy, we have arrived. Is there an issue? Well, no major issue, but um, the customer, she booked online and uh, she didn't leave a note with a uh, gate code. So now we're at the call box right now and I'm giving her a call and she doesn't answer. So we're going to wait it up a couple of minutes because we are like five minutes early. Maybe they're waking up at the time that they set up the appointment. So I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes, give them a call and we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, so we just arrived to the first location. The first thing we're going to be doing out here with the car is going to be inspecting the enti entire exterior see if there's any flaws to it this looks like a brand new car so there's barely any flaws there's a tiny 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 scratch here i'm just gonna go ahead and take a picture of it document it i already did a, a kind of a a quick walkthrough before we started recording i couldn't really find much besides small scratches on the door handles but i need to document that to make sure that the customer doesn't say I did that while we were detailing it after. But yeah, all I'm gonna do now is open up the doors. We have the trunk open. There's some things in the trunk. We're gonna take that out and we're gonna start vacuuming it. So this is a before the car. It's not too dirty, it's pretty clean. A lot of cars that we have serviced or usually service are usually this clean. They're not too dirty. Customers like to keep their car clean, maintenance vehicles. So in this vehicle, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be doing a thorough vacuum on the inside. We're gonna be cleaning the steering wheel, the dashboard, the center console, all four doors. We're gonna be doing the windows on the inside. And then on the outside, we're gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna be washing it, we're gonna be cleaning it, we're gonna be throwing a wax on it, as well as the tires and rims add some tire shine we're also going to be cleaning the trunk <laughs> stay tuned guys Okay guys, we just left that first location. We just finished up with that Lexus uh, from our packages. That is called the deluxe detail that we performed on that vehicle, which is a clay and a wax on the exterior and a full interior vacuuming, thorough vacuuming on the inside, cleaning up the dashboard, the center console, the steering wheel, the windows. We also addressed the interior. Um, for that vehicle, we charged $250. 
I couldn't really record too much of it right now because we were running just a little bit behind on schedule due to the fact that the customer uh, didn't give us a code for the gate. So we started like 20 minutes after 9. 9 a.m. was our official appointment. We started around 9.20. We finished around 11.20. It is now 11.25. Um, so that took us um, about two hours exact. The car wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't bad at all, to be honest. Uh, but we left it clean. Um, the customer left 15 to 20 minutes right before we were finished up. But at that point, we were just taking off the wax and doing the final touches on the exterior. She looked at it and said that it looked amazing. I asked her if she wanted to, since she was leaving, she could put it back in the garage before she left. And she did. So we just finished drying the car up in the garage and we were on our way as well. Okay, so Randy, you said that you charged that client 250. Was that including a tip or no tip? Uh, no, $250 is the base price for that package on a car, four-door car. Uh, she did give us a tip. It was a $50 tip. So uh, we received on our end a total of $300. Okay, so how did she end up paying you and what method? She asked me as she was leaving how, how she could pay me. And I told her that uh, we do any method payment, whether it was cash, Zelle, Venmo. Uh, she wanted to do credit card as well. That was also an option. However, I informed her that credit card, we do have a processing fee that comes along with the price. And uh, she said Zelle was great which in my opinion, Zelle is my preferable uh, way of payment. Uh, so yeah, she said, I'm gonna pay you, I'm gonna give you guys a tip, and I'm gonna be on my way. So I said, thank you, and that was about it. How did this client find you? Uh, this customer, I believe she found me on Google. Um, not ads, just, you know, just uh, organic search, I guess, up online, uh, because she just directly booked on my booking site online i received a notification and um, i saw the date and time and we came at this time she never called me uh prior to this or i never remember giving her a business card so i believe it was google it had to be google unless it was a, a reference from a friend but i'm sure she would have told me um, i believe like nine out of ten times what happens is people find me on google organically so yeah did you take longer than expected or less time or just as expected to tell me so far? It was just as expected because I said that it was going to be two hours or less when we first arrived and looked at the vehicle. Uh, we did end up taking the full two hours and that's okay. Uh, we still have enough time to arrive to our second location. It was just as expected, nothing less, nothing more. And we're still running uh, perfect on timing. Randy, how far apart do you schedule your appointments on a daily basis? So usually um, what happens is the booking site that I have online, I automatically have it set to setting appointments one hour apart. So for example, this morning, our first appointment was at 9 a.m. and it automatically schedules it for two hours. So from 9 to 11 a.m. The next available booking that somebody could book, a client could book, would be 12 p.m. So that leaves the gap between 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, where I can go ahead and head out to the second customer's location, use the bathroom, stop at the gas station if I have to. Uh, you get the idea. You always want to give yourself time and time for the next customer. So you don't want to be late to the, with the next customer. We are not too far away from our next location. So I went ahead and texted our customer if it's okay if we arrived 10, 15 minutes earlier than expected. And he just responded with, uh, yeah, sure, no problem. So that's where we're going now.
All right, Randy, are we all finished up? Yeah, we're all pretty much done. We just finished the inside, the outside. We waxed it, clay barred it, did a nice uh, job on the interior. I seen that the customer came out. What did he tell you? Uh, the customer just asked me if we had any time to do his second car. His wife just came, so he wanted to get that done. Pretty much, I'm just going to ask him to come out, check out the car, make sure everything's great in the inside, the outside. And from there, I'm going to let him know, yes, uh, we are able to do the car, and we'll go and start on that one. That car was not planned for today. We only had two appointments for today, but things like this happen all the time where a customer has two or more cars that he wants to do at the same day. So if we have the ability to, so we're able to uh, fit him in our schedule for the day. All right, Randy, so are we all done for the day? Yes, we're all finished up. We have three vehicles done for the day and uh, we're gonna be heading home now. You did three vehicles today and you were only supposed to do two. What happened with that? Yeah, so we only had scheduled uh, two vehicles. We had one at one location, another at the other location. And at our second location, the guy, his wife arrived home, I don't know if early or I don't know what the case may be, but he ended up, he ended up coming out and asking me if we could do his uh, wife's vehicle as well now that we were there. And uh, since we didn't have any appointments afterwards, I told him, yeah, sure, no, no problem. Uh, we'll get it done as well right after we finish with um, his vehicle. And that's what happened. So we ended up um, doing the Cadillac and then um, his wife's uh, Honda Accord. Um, when we finished up with the Cadillac, I, I asked him to come out, check it out, make sure everything looks good. And uh, he said it looked amazing. And uh, I took the opportunity to ask him what package did he want to get done on the Honda Accord. Asked him if he wanted the same package, the deluxe package, or the, uh, our cheaper package. And he ended up saying like he just wanted the basic package, which is our cheaper package. And um, that's what we did. We did a, did a premium wash on the Honda Accord, which is basically just a, a wipe down on the interior and the vacuuming and the wash on the outside. So uh, all in all, we did three cars today. Can we break down the prices for today's vehicles? Yeah, so the first vehicle in the morning, it was a deluxe detail. That was $250 and uh, the customer gave a $50 tip. So that brought us up to a total of $300. Um, our second vehicle, the Cadillac, was also $250 because it was the deluxe package. And uh, that was another $250. And uh, we ended up doing the Honda Accord for a premium wash. That was $120. So there we have uh, $250 and $370. And he also gave a $30 tip, so it ended up being $400. So we have $400 in this job site, $300 in that job site, $700 uh, all in all. What time is it right now? It's uh, 3.05. So we took two hours on the first car, we took two hours on the second car, and we took about one hour on the Honda Accord, coming to a total of five hours of working time. Do you usually earn about that much on a daily basis or more or less? That's a good question because uh, what I want to point out at the end of the video right now, it's saying that um, in detailing, nothing is always guaranteed. You know, some days you may have a good $500 day uh, or $1,000 day. Sometimes you may only have an $80 day. It depends and it depends as much as how much effort you put into it as well as far as your marketing, uh, getting customers, getting leads. So it all depends on you. So I would say, you know, Everything is not on a consistent basis, you know, sometimes you make more, sometimes you make less, you know, but that's the world of detailing, you know, sometimes you may have something scheduled for $500 a day, however, you know, um, unfortunately the weather is raining or um, there's thunderstorms, so you, you know, you may have to reschedule, cancel, you know, things like that happen, so I want to point out to the detailer out there who wants to start and is having a hard time, you know, uh, trying to charge somebody $50 for a whole full detail. You know, I just want to let you know that it is possible. You know, there's people in different states, different counties, different cities that are charging even more. They're probably charged uh, 700 just for one car. So, you know, it's all about, you know, how you're able to get the customers, how you're able to, uh, you know, have them pay your price, your premium price. What advice would you give beginning detailers on setting prices? Some general advice that I would say is, you know, um, charge what you feel you deserve, you know. If at first you have to go ahead and 
uh, wash a car and take a loss, that's okay. What you want to get from there is that experience and say, you know, hey, this car took me three hours and um, I feel like I busted my butt and I was sweating all day and I was thirsty and it was really hard work, you know, because it is a laborious job. So you want to go ahead and say, you know, hey, if I on average spend three hours detailing a car, um, I want to make at least, you know, that's up to you, whether you feel comfortable making $70 an hour or you feel comfortable making 100 an hour or you feel comfortable making, you know, 60, 50 an hour. If you're happy with 50 an hour, well, you can go ahead and charge 150 for that detail. You know, that's just an example of what I would say is uh, decent advice, you know, um, charge what you're worth. And don't ever underquote or don't ever undersell yourself because you feel like the customer might get mad or the customer might reject you. You know, that's part of the business. You know, there's customers who are only willing to pay certain much and there are customers who are p willing to pay any price, you know, so it's all on you. You know, um, I used to think in the beginning when I started that I would get scared of having customers reject me. But, you know, now I know that it's part of business. You know, I give my price and if they want to pay it, that's up to them. If not, I move on. There will always be another customer in line wanting to pay uh, what I um, asked them. Alrighty, guys, there you have it. Now you know how I make $700 in about five to six hours. Um, hope you guys like the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Catch you on the next one.